y'all, Jamie O here, and it is the first Friday in April. Normally that would mean that I'd be doing a brewery review, but actually this week's brewery review is going to be on the second Friday. So in place of that, I'm actually going to do a product review. So before we get started, if this is your first time here, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. And while you're at it, hit the bell so you can get notifications of when new videos are coming out. Um, also, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up and let's get started. So um, from time to time, I'll get free products or deeply discounted products um, from companies to review and sometimes they're food related. Um, today's is not completely food related. It's kind of food related. It's actually a vitamin. So I actually was really pleased with this vitamin. Um, a little bit of backstory. My mom tried four years <laughs> to get me to take vitamin C. Um, and it wasn't until like halfway through college that I finally started taking it around cold and flu season um, just because I just didn't see what vitamins did for me. Now, total disclaimer, um, really wasn't that my mom couldn't sell me on it probably as much as I only liked Flintstone vitamins. I took Flintstone vitamins, yes, the chewy Flintstone vitamins until I was, I guess, 25. <laughs> um, and part of that was that I liked the way they tasted. Um, and that was pretty much it. I liked the way they tasted. It was kind of easy to take. Um, I only really liked the orange ones though. So I kind of wish it was like Starburst where you could get all of one flavor that you like. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I didn't really see where it was doing anything for me and I didn't want to invest in vitamins. Um, one thing that I knew to be true and, and is still true to this day is that taking a multivitamin usually means that it's a bunch of vitamin B, um, specifically B12 or B6, um, and some vitamin C. So, so most vitamins really don't have that much in it. Like it might say that it has a whole bunch of different things in there, but unless you're getting a good quality vitamin, one, it's not very much of the other minerals or vitamins other than vitamin C or B12. Um, and two, they kind of just sit in your stomach. Um, I've actually had some vitamins that made me sick, um, just because it was just sitting in my stomach. Uh, it, it didn't do anything. It actually made me sluggish. And it wasn't until a friend of mine introduced me to a really good, it was a multivitamin, multimineral. It had more than just vitamin C or vitamin B12 in it. It had um, a ton of phytonutrients, um, minerals, and of course the vitamins that I was looking for. And it actually made a major difference in my quality of life. And actually the same person, he kind of educated me a little bit on um, vitamins alongside a book I was reading at the time for grad school, which I highly recommend. It's called Tomato Land. Um, I'll put the link for it down below so you can check it out. It's probably one of the best books I've ever read um, in general, and also one of the best books I've read as far as getting you to understand not only agriculture and the way tomatoes specifically are produced in this country, but, al but also how food today is, for the most part, much less nutrient dense than it was 10 years ago, 15 years ago, uh, much less 50 years ago. So um, it's actually really hard, like even if you try to eat your fresh fruits and vegetables to get the vitamins you need in your daily servings of fruits and vegetables. That doesn't mean stop eating fruits and vegetables. <laughs> you still need those, but especially with tomatoes, and if you check out Tomato Land, you'll see that, see that most tomatoes used for canning in the U.S., are actually produced in California, whereas most of the fresh varieties you see on market shelves are produced in Florida. And the soil is really not full of nutrients in those places, especially Florida, because they're producing tomatoes pretty much year round. They're just pumping them with chemicals. And a lot of that just ends up as ends up in the water from runoff. Um, it's not necessarily being picked up by the tomatoes and it's more so just to get them to grow so it's a fertilizer to get them to grow not so much to get nutrients in the tomatoes so tomatoes today actually have far more sodium and water in them than anything else and especially than they were years ago so that doesn't mean stop eating tomatoes that doesn't mean that all tomatoes are that way don't just assume that you know that's what you're eating but it is a huge amount of what we're eating today so having a vitamin especially a good multivitamin 
um, will help you to replenish some of those things. You can't actually take too much of something, but um, most vitamins that you're going to see in a, a general multivitamin, if you get too much of it, you're going to pee away, such as vitamin C. Um, the worst thing that can happen to you with vitamin C is you'll just take a bunch of it and you'll just pee it out. <laughs> so with that said, on to the review of this vitamin. Actually, MAV, I guess it's MAV, it might be MAV, um, Nutrition sent this to me and I'll put a link for it down below. Um, and it's a fish oil, so it's a premium omega-3 fish oil. Make sure you guys can see that. Um, <clears throat> I didn't realize until last week, I've been taking it for about three weeks now, but I didn't realize until the end of last week that you're actually supposed to take three a day. I've only been taking one a day, and since that's been working for me, I've kept up with it. Um, as you all know, fish oil, a fish oil supplement or omega-3s in general are supposed to help with heart health, uh, brain function, it can also help with joint function, uh, the appearance of your skin, and also with immune system support. And that's something that's really important to me because I can get sick at the drop of a hat. But I was actually really surprised with taking the fish oil. Yes, I have felt, because, well, I had a cold. I got a cold back in, I guess, late January, um, early February, something like that. And it seemed like it just wouldn't go away. Um, so I don't know if it was the fish oil and the vitamin C that I was taking that finally made it go away, if it finally went away on its own. But I actually have a lot of digestive issues. Um, and more so just like abdominal pain, um, just at random for no real reason. And the fish oil actually helped with my digestive issues. So, um, I have taken a fish oil supplement in the past. I didn't take it for very long because it smelled horrible. It smelled like fish and Fish itself shouldn't smell like fish, so my fish oil supplement, I really would like to not taste like fish. If you're eating decent fish or fresh fish, it shouldn't taste fishy or smell fishy. So if it does, you should probably toss it. Um, but it didn't smell fishy. This one didn't smell fishy at all. When I took it for the first, I'd say, three days, it tasted like I was burping fish for, like, every time I burped, it was, it was gross. But... But the benefits of it were outweighing the fishy burp taste. So um, once that subsided, because after about three days, it pretty much went away. Like each day it was getting better and better. So I was like, okay, maybe this will go away. Um, and it did. And so now don't have that problem. Um, and it still helped with the digestive issues. So I've been pretty happy about not having nearly as many troubles Um just biologically, I'm going to kind of have those troubles, but this has definitely helped to subside those things. So overall, I would definitely, I will definitely be buying this product again. You get 60 soft gels in a container. And actually, let me show you these because these are actually a little bigger than I thought they were going to be. But um, my fiance said that they're about normal size. I guess I just wasn't really thinking about how big they're about that big which might look bigger on the screen than it actually is but um like I said I've been taking one a day 60 come in a container so you know if you're taking the recommended three a day it says two to three times a day if you're taking those it'll last you about a month um they're pretty inexpensive so it was kind of nice that I got them for basically free um I can't remember if I got them for free or almost free but it was like I think only if I paid anything it was like a dollar um but I think regular price they're like fifteen dollars the links below for them let me know what you guys think of them and I will see you guys next Friday um I would like to give a special thank you to everyone who's been watching this first week of videos um of course feedback is always welcome and I Really, really appreciate my patrons on Patreon for making this project possible. Um, and anyone who's been watching, just thank you. So this has been pretty, pretty interesting experience. I hope that you all keep on watching. Um, next week, I will, like I said, I will be doing the brewery review, which will be of Strange Ways Brewing, my absolute favorite brewery in the world. So stay tuned for that next Friday at 7. And until next time, thanks for watching.